Finish your preparations. Sithis, blind me. Be there other living mortals in this wretched waste? You're the first swab I've seen who still has meat on their bones. A whirlpool. It pulled in our ship and dropped us here. We fell right out of the sky. We went looking for the shipwrecks of the lost fleet. Never expected to find them in another world entirely. These and a few others. I sent the rest with my first mate, Jalan, up that canyon to investigate the nearest wreck. I'm about to lead these lovers to check out a second wreck. Anything we find will be more than we have now. We're off to search the second wreck. I'd be obliged if you could follow Jalan's wake and see what's keeping him. Bring him along to the other wreck, so's I can dress him down for being a lazy lackwit. If he ain't dead, that is. Ask away, mate, but be quick about it. We need to move out soon. Many a year I've sailed the seas around Tamriel, but I've never seen its like. It was vast, larger than all Alton Coromont, and it spun up all sudden-like. No wonder sailors call the waters around Thras the Cursed Sea. We were searching for the shipwrecks of the All Flags fleet. Do you know the legend? Scores of ships lost at sea, each one loaded with loot. I found the log of Admiral Olo's navigator. That told me how to find the Thras Archipelago, or where it used to be before it mostly sank. Olo had himself a good navigator, all right. Her directions led me right into the maw of that whirlpool. Treasure, of course. It's a legend in Alton Coromont that some of our swabs sailed in the fleet that sacked Thras. The ones who survived came home loaded with loot. If my ancestors could do it, so can I. Aye, that'd be a fine end to our adventure. We find the Great Lost Fleet, and then we walk away from it. We lost too many crewmates finding this place. We owe it to them to do at least a little plundering before we pack it in. out of my pelt. At least there's flesh on your face. Where did you come from? Oh, she did, did she? And where were you when my crew was being killed by walking skeletons? No matter. It's just you and me now. You, me, and this door. And the door... Oh, aye, but it'll make a lot of noise. Likely to attract more of those bony swabs. Tell you what. I'll work on the door if you'll keep the bone boys off me. Deal? Starting to hope you weren't coming in. Look at all this treasure. Wait. What's happening? I feel strange. My skin. My fur. What? What? Ah! Fools can't resist cast treasure. Now you are mine to control.
cursed. Daedra, take it. Cursed. A curse on all curses. My crew. They got excited and rushed to grab the treasure. The gold. It turned them into skeletons. Then some kind of specter appeared and ordered my own crew to attack me. I had to kill them. Curse the luck. Now we find the spook that ensorcelled my crew and destroy it. Wasting good treasure by putting a curse on it. Now that's foul play by Sithis. Aye, that I did. And I swear on the blood of me crew that Spook will pay for this wicked trick. You have come to a very bad place. Have you come to kill us, Lizard Bones? No, I have come to save you. Listen to me, child. Why are you here? Why have you come searching for this damned fleet of the lost? Treasure? You won't find that here. But revenge? Aye, revenge might just be possible. Find the Admiral and destroy him. He's using the ruins of the fleet to build his coral tower. He wants to reach the portal in the sky. We're his slaves, working endlessly to make his mad desires come true. There are many who wish we could rebel, but the Admiral holds the crown of bones. Morlog Ball himself gave him that terrible relic. With it, the Admiral controls the cursed skeletons of the fleet. But you aren't cursed yet. I hid the final chapter of my journal in the hold of my ship, the Golden Era. It's docked at the Skeleton Village. My journal holds the key to reaching the Admiral's Sanctuary. You want to help them to Sona, eh? Fool, you can't defy the Crown of Bones. Kill them! No! I can't. Not my own blood. <laughs> Most entertaining. That Admiral Spook Sithis sink him. Seems to control all the skeletons. And he did. He showed me the Admiral's control isn't absolute. Meet me at the wreck of the Golden Era, and we'll find his hidden journal.
I see your skin is still on your bones. I search the rest of the ship, but there's no sign of the journal. Did you have better luck? Did you indeed? That be well. Let me see it. I have a plan, but it only includes me. Hmm, maybe I will at that. Let me see that journal, mate. What's this? Alton Coromont. Sithis, take it. This is not but the ravings of a madman. Where's the secret he promised? Ah, that'll be the key that gets us into the Admiral. Or rather, you. I need you to get that crown of bones thing. I've got another task ahead of me. Oh, I do. And I've seen you in action, so I expect to get it. But the dead skeletons had mates in his crew from my village. That makes them relatives, even ancestors may have. I think I can use that connection to break their bondage. Worth a try. The key must open the Admiral's Coral Tower. Take it. Enter the tower and kill the Admiral. As for me, it's my duty to look up me dead relatives and see what I can do to help them, even if it's only to lay them to rest. Wager a meat walker like you would like to put your hands on some treasure that I'd cursed. I could arrange that. Help me up to this mortifying predicament, mate. I'm too willful for the Admiral's crown to work on me, so he had me busted to bits and me bones thrown away. And the only thing worse than being a living skeleton is being just a talking skull. Smash up some of these weak-willed swabs and bring me a new set of bones. When I get back on my feet again, I'll reward you handsome-like with loot and all. <laughs> what do you say, mate?
You persist in your folly. Look what I found. Some long-lost relatives. The shock of seeing me has knocked them out from under the crown's control. But it won't last. That'd be the crown right there. What are you going to do with it, mate? That there crown of bones, it's cursed be like. You could destroy it. That might set the sailors free. Or it might destroy them. I have another proposition for you. Give the crown to me. I must ask you to reconsider, mate. I've got a quarrel with this here Moloch Ball, and I intend to lead these sailors against him. Afterwards, I'll set them all free, assuming we survive. Damn and blast. Destroy the thing and be done with it then. Be like I'll just have to rely on the old shaman's tricks to put right me new crew. Thing ate my, my soul. 
They've taken my soul! They took our souls. They fed them to some sort of anguish gem, and now I'm the only one left. Can you destroy the gem before I wind up like the rest of these wretches? The anguish gem is just beyond this door, but it's barred from the other side. You need to go all the way around. Some rather nasty things lurk in these caves. You need to be careful.
you destroyed the Anguish Gem, didn't you? I feel different somehow. You did? I knew it! That's wonderful! I can't thank you enough! Now I won't wind up like the rest of these poor wretches. I have my soul back, and I'm getting out of here! Creature. We don't have time for your games! Mortals are always so amusing. death and destruction. I don't know why I'm surprised. I never expected Cold Harbor to be a walk in the snow. More sad news? This wretched domain is full of it. Still, it's better to know what happened to Natira than to wonder what fate befell her. Thank you for that. Creature. Ah, here comes the champion, just in time, as Mortals always. Mortals are always so amusing. I offer information, aid for your quest, and you shun me. You expect us to trust a creature of the plains? Ridiculous! A mare as arrogant as a kin. How delightful. I do so love watching egotistical braggarts stumble. I may allow you to reconsider and accept my offer. Of course, I may not. I haven't decided yet. You there! Find out where that creature is lurking. I want her watched. 